Let's go, let's go, let's go. The 13th of July. Ooh. Ooh. This is Misara rocking out to the moon. Karu clapping wildly, loving it, just like before. He's very good. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, he wants uh, Basara to sing a song for a particular someone. Like they could do with it, and he looks up, and Basara's like, well, this dude's fucking wild. Here's Izumo in the Alicia room again, looking at Alicia, explaining the plan of they're looking for the rare Igura, um, who can give birth to, uh, on Altair and can repopulate it. Uh, the closest one so far was Alicia, who gave uh, birth, but then went into a coma. And uh, Izumo uh, hopes uh, that Jin succeeds in his mission uh, to kidnap the rare Igura from the Holy Angel Academy. Uh, and the Mechanical Angel, the Aquarian. So they can be the real Eve. The true Eve. And here's Mikage's room. He's got Kagura all tied up. And they're chit chatting about Kagura's past, and he was remembering it, and he's getting mad and yelling at Mikage, and they've done this a lot. And, and he, uh. Mikage! And he's, uh. He's gonna. Yeah, he tells uh, Kagura to remember things further back. To the time of Apollo and Silphy. And he uh, says, uh, Remember wanting to combine with Silphy to unite. And Kaga's like, Dang it, I'm gonna smash Silphy, gonna crush her, gonna kill her. I hate Silphy, she sucks. And off he goes, Silphy, gonna kill you, Silphy. And then, <laughs> Go to Vega. Get him. Sick him, boy. And at the Macross Quarter, everyone's worried about Shodoro. Especially all the older ladies. Because they love that little fella. Yeah, so they want to... Uh... Yeah, so they want to cheer Shodoro up. Because the shock he's received and they start talking about two guys, one girl again. And then... This guy's like, hey Amada, what about one guy, two girls? And he's like, Bleh! and then Amada's upset. And then Alto's like, hey Amada, calm down, dude. And then Mix is like, well, don't you listen to the two timing boy, Amada, he sucks. And Alto's like, I'm not the two timing boy, alright? Fuck, calm down. And like, Alto and Amada are pretty much the same, but they're the opposite of Shororo. Apollo wanted the bad entrance by close together and bad guys missed the Apollo's head. Is that about summarize it? No, not even close. And then Kuro's like, quit it, alright? And then now he's like, Rudy Rudy. Rudy Rudy. Rudy Rudy's questions, he really gets through to you. And Sakura's like, duh, I wish I had a girlfriend at all. And then Alto's like, I think I know how to cheer Shodra. What about a movie? And Michelle's like, what about Celestial Being? If you mention Celestial Being, no thanks. What doesn't know. Then he says, it's like, no, we got the Frontier movie. We should watch Do You Remember Love? And he's like, wait, what? And, um, and then Clan says, it's a movie ab about the Zentradi War and Lin Min Mei sorting all that jazz out with her singing. And everybody loving her. Concept. It's not right, dude. But then they say Luca's uh, there, and then they say Shadow has probably seen it. So what else can we do? And then McConaughey's like, oh, I, I have, I have a suggestion. I, I, got, I got a suggestion. What is it, McConaughey's like, I know a movie. We should uh, watch Dancing uh, in the Dancing Skies of Aquaria. Like, wow, my God, I should have loved that. 
oh yeah, that's that film, right? And then Fudo shows up and just instantly appears as he's wont to do, and he says, I could prepare it for you. He's like, it's ready, it's good, just go, uh... Uh, and they're like, wow, shall we watch it here on the corner? And he says, no, let's watch it at the Holy Angel Academy. He's like, wow, and he's like, yeah, let's go see the Dancing in the Skies of Aquaria movie, it's good. And then... Everybody else is like, "Well, I haven't seen that film. This sounds like quite the event." It's like, "Oh, Aquaria movie! Hell yes!" Everyone's getting really excited. It's like, "Hell it, yeah!" Aiden, Aiden and Johnny are gonna touch each other in the cinema as they want to, as they all want to do. Here we are setting up to watch the big movie. They're going to project it on the Berlin Wall. And yeah, so this has got a little bit out of hand. Because uh, Vladimir has got like a little bit wild because she's really good at PR and so she got a little bit wild and she's made it into a big thing because she said there's going to be a uh, like the big production here we go is the guest star and she called Cheryl in he's like yep that's me I'm here to have a good time with the film Oh, actually, she says, hey, what? I just, uh, now, no, no, now it's just private time. Not gonna do a performance. It's like, wait, don't you have a rehearsal or anything? It's like, no, I got time, so why don't you show me around this place? It's like, Cheryl, we'll set up the stage for you. He's like, alright, let's go. I'll go, where are we going? You're gonna show me around, you're my escort. Wow, Alto has the Cheryl lady come pick her. He's like, that's alright. And off they go. They have a good time. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, so Alto is like, yeah, she's got something up if she wants to hang here instead of singing. And then Ada says that she knows that Cheryl and Ranker have both had time to reflect, like, like their songs are no good, but Alto knows the deal. Fine. So, they're gonna have their little... Okay, first we get Jin. Um, so here's Jin reporting to Izumo on the radio um, and he's gonna, and he might have a chance to abduct a, a rare Igura in the current situation and this is where he said like this is the bit where he says all the shit where he's like someone will have all this power, someone has power, someone has power but the, the greatest power they have is tears when one's crying you don't want to do anything but then Yunaha is here and she's like hey Jin like, oh Yunaha is like you want to come watch the, the movie? It's like, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. And she's like, all right. Yeah, we're going to go watch the thing. You want to do it? It's like, yeah, I've got this sort of like, I'll see you in the hall. All right, good. And then she leaves, and she's like, damn, my heart's beating it's crazy it's fast. fast. Is this because I want to cut die? Do I want to combine? And then Alto and Cheryl do their chat, and um, he's like, so what are you hiding? And um, uh, Cheryl says that she and Ranka, both of the Twinkle Project, uh, like they've lost a lot of confidence since they did the thing and it didn't work on the Vajra. So Alto is like, nah, it's fine, and just starts talking to him, having a little chat, and cheers her up and they have a little walk around. Yeah. Yeah, she says, uh, yeah, it was a shock for her singing not to reach her audience, and maybe it's the first time that that's ever happened. And Alta's like, nah, it's just fatigue after the Twinkle Project's non stop thing. Like, well, definitely not something wrong with you or with Ranker, you're just tired. And the best advice uh, he can give her is just, she should take some time for herself for a change. She's like, hell yeah, you know what, I'll do it, you're right. I'm going to enjoy what time I've got um, before the show with just us two. 
He's like, stop, show, sure, it's fine. He's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna kiss that dude. So here we are in the hole with Amato is apologizing to Bacono about uh, him dragging her into like the complete mess of having to ride the aquarium and all that jazz and she's like, nah, don't worry, don't apologize. Um, she chose it um, for herself, she could have dropped out at any point. And then uh, he opens up and says uh, that the lady who plays Sylphie in the Dancing in the Skies of Aquaria, uh, Alicia, yeah, who plays Sylphie, is Alicia. And that's his mother. And uh, she left him um, when he was uh, still a small child. And Amada's just like, maybe I just wasn't that important to her. Like, maybe I'm just not cool. And Mikano's like, no, that's not it. Everyone's important. And uh, you're the one who realised that. I always relied on my brother and thought I wasn't important and cool. But then you came along. Yeah, and then she mentions the Susashiro family all have a strong line of element powers and she doesn't have any. Kayan always protected her and went to Neo Diva Academy and abandoned her. And they're having a good heart to heart moment and she's like, right, you're good. And then Zeska's looking at this from a distance and she's like, damn. Getting a little jealous and upset, getting down. And Asuka's like, Really? You're looking at that fella? Disappointing. Disappointing. It's like, What? It's like, I'm disappointing you, Zeska. You seem like the type who just takes whatever you want. She's like, I haven't given up yet. And then Shinji comes over and is like, Hey, Asuka's like, What is it, Daddy's boy? Nepotism boy. And um, he's like, Do you want to come watch the movie? She's like, Duh! Like, what? What's the fun? He's like, Do you even know the story of the movie? Like, the basic, like, gist of it? He's like, no, I don't know anything about it. What? He's like, yo, you can't just invite a girl to a movie if you don't know anything about it, you idiot. He's like, jeez, you know how I'm going to watch it. Like, everyone's going to be there. And they have a big kerfuffle, and Zesk's like, all right, Asuka, I'm going to leave out. Just leave uh, you two to it, all right? Bye. Like, Zesko, wait. He's like, come on, it's starting. He's like, well, I mean, at least buy me some popcorn then. He's like, all right, jeez. He's like, wait, and then Ray shows up and he's like, I'm here. And he's like, you ask the commander's pet too? He's like, yeah, I'm asking all the Ava pilots. Hey, is there a problem with that? He's like, you fucking idiot, yeah, Colonel Baka. Eh? 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 <laughs> Asuka thought Shinji was taking her on a date. So here's the movie. With the Aquarian song. Here's Apollon. Selfie. 12,000 years, all that jazz. I'll love you forever, even after 12,000 years. So good. She's like, ah, oh, a poem. It's like the two of us, the power of love surpasses all. It's like, hell yeah, I love you the most. And then is these jokers. They're watching the movie, and Benaji's like, so this is the dancing skies of Aquaria. And then Audrey, only if people really were able to understand one another like this. And then Rose, people can love each other. Even through differences of race and planet. And Takru, I believe that too. And Zex, Apollon, he sacrificed everything for love. And then Noin, do you find him idiotic? Of course not. And then Michelle, here clan, wipe your nose with this. These are tears, why you always gotta destroy the mood? And Koji, D dang, this love scene is a lot more passionate than I expected. And Zex like, he... True. Uh, aren't you getting a little cl too close to me, Sayaka? Because I want to. Kiriko. 
And then Count Kirika must be thinking about Fiana. And then Chidori. Well, this is a surprise. Sasuke invited me to a romantic movie. My apologies. I thought it was full of action. Fuck. Idiot. And then Jin. I wonder why. I was a fan of Sylphie, but now I don't feel any spark. And you know her. But I'm fine with that. And then Thula. Kara walks in the back. Hi there. It's been a while. True. But I feel great right now. I assume it's because of the boy? It's peculiar to see him in that position again. Cause and effect, or should I call it destiny? But I assume you have no intention of following that path, am I right? <laughs> then you know why I came here, correct? Close his eyes. It's not like you to follow orders. You two broke the forbidden taboo 24,000 years ago. True, true. So, I want you to be more honest with yourself. After all, you and I aren't so different than those two on the screen. I'll do my best. I no longer want to see him sad, even if it's not because of me this time. Over the course of reincarnation, destiny may change. After the events of 12,000 years, a new door will open. Even if that means entering beyond the myth. And this is a fallen giant. So, we know what this is going to be. There's only one giant that we know of. So, quite the event, Donna, like, Mr. Donna, what are we doing? He's like, yep, no, it's doing good. And then, tell me. It's like, uh oh, incoming dimensional drift. We've got a gate. Boing! Abductors. It's like, dang it, always ruining our bullshit. And then Kaga's like, where is she? Where is she? Where's my selfie? Selfie? It's got like skies of Aquaria and uh, uh kind of freaking out and then such so jokers. Launch the units, everybody. And we launch the nerds. It's like, dang it, where's my goddamn Sylphie? It's like, Makono's not here, you fucking idiot. And it's like, wait, wait, where's Yunaha? It's like, ah, she's probably, and then, um, kind of like, she's probably with Jin. And then the school president man says that he, uh, uh, there's an aura level, um, that corresponds to element powers in the, ele in the, uh, enemy leader. And Claire's like, the abductor has element powers? He's an element? What the heck? Possible. And Fudo says, uh, love can change, uh, and he says, uh, the, the, pa the power of reversal, love can become hatred. Yeah, and then he says, love can become hate, um, uh, light uh, can become darkness, fire can become ice. And Claire's like, damn, that's messed up. And then he tells us all to be careful about uh, the enemy leader. Like, Alright, we'll do with it. Messing off our movie event, it was good. Yeah, they part the robots for watching the movie, they're in all the robot in the, they're in the, uh, the battleships, where they always are. Like, Alright, you lot get them. Like, Alright, we're gonna get them. Right, you ready? Yep. And his unit was like, Jin, we, we, we gotta go, dude. You need to go back. He's like, no, come with me, Unaha. You gotta come with me. He's like, uh? Unaha, we gotta go. Jin. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no! And this is the best one for now. Oh, no, all right, that's a bit much even for her to manage right away. Let's soften up a bit. Nara is actually going to get the full bop on one of them because he's self support. These fucking jokers, though. Early cases, how you doing? Our jokers just watched a romantic movie and couldn't deal with it. Yeah, 
Apollon and Silphy. I mean, Apollon is almost Apollo, and Silphy is almost Sylvia. It's not quite right, is it? Did I'm going to space this game? I have to wait and see. New type level 4 boy! New type level 4 boy! Needs to be level 5 for the biosensor though, so that doesn't help very much. <laughs> but that's why he's got the double XP. Why do romantic movies have Sam? None of them were ever set with the romantic movie. They just... Oh, Sasuke thought it was going to be an action movie. He didn't know it was going to be romantic. Asuka thought that Shinji was inviting her out on a date, but actually he was just inviting all of the Ava pilots. Um, Koji was like, damn, Saka, you're getting a bit close. She's like, oh yeah, dude. Michelle was like, clan, wipe your nose. She's like, tears, not snot. Shit, bag. Such a beautiful movie. Zex and Noin had a good time, because they're actually fucking adults. That was the fucking stealing egg. Can't stop the Zeta. Yeah, and Fudo did have fun with Karu talking at the back. <laughs> well, the anime didn't go to watch Ruby come back and robot again. The bad dude showed up. They're gonna try and steal all the women. Just bad timing. They were having a good time at the movie though. It was good. And next stage, even better. Don't worry. It's fucking wild. Damage zero. Let's go, Kate. Give me a little bit of this. And have another one for free. Found out that Amada's mother was a loose show, and he's like, maybe she just didn't love me. And then I was like, no, damn, I bet she did. I know all about being abandoned. But they abandoned me because they, cause they love me and they wanted to protect me, so... I'm sure she had a good reason for leaving. I didn't expect K to do that because I forgot K's really good and I forgot that Iggy has like plus 12 in all stats because of all the ladies, right? Da -da -da -da. Plus 3 for each one. He's got plus 12 because it's Aoi, Kura and Ada and Moan counts as well. I'm doing that, I'm 
I don't want this fucker to punch me. Is <laughs> it really hurt? Yeah, that, that, that's Keizai's bonus. He gets a buff. Depend, he gets plus three to all stats. Um, depend, like for every lady in his uh, team. So he gets one for Mo. So he always gets minimum plus three to all stats, which, is, which ain't bad. Like that's plus forty. Like that's forty-five PP times six. So, like that's all right. He, forty-five moist because he doesn't. Like he'll never punch anything. But the rest of it's all good. And then you put him with Dan Cougar because that's the most ladies we got per like in a single slot right now. And he gets Raudia. He loves to show, he loves to show off. <laughs> that's gay. I think Michelle has a similar one where he gets more crit for more ladies. Yeah, Michelle gets um, plus 30% crit if there's a female pilot in his own team. And Clan um, gets plus 30 crit if Michelle is just on the map. Um, and Kurtz's ace bonus is the less damage against women, more against men. But the only women pilots in the entire game that you have to fight is Analotta, who we fought, um, Resin, and uh, Sena, who we fought, and there's one more. Oh, Merida. Like, I think that's it. I think there's literally four women in the game, so he just gets like an extra 10% damage for free. Oh, and Kess, yeah, so five. And anything that's neutral also counts as a man, like all, um... This joker, uh, like all AI things count as men as well. I think there's another woman later on. That we haven't met yet, but... <laughs> Look, just, just, um, he's probably show off as well if it would be exactly. Yeah, Gunbuster only has uh, two ladies in it. So that's no good. Um I don't think there's I don't think there's any that have got like, any battleships that have got those. You can have two in Aquarian and Evil. So I think Yeah, I think uh, I think three's the most. Unless we get Gravion. I think everywhere else only has one or two. Thank you, guys, three. Kev, are gonna see his kid with that lady? He's already seen his kid! He's already met Athena and gone alright, hot stuff, and then Orson went, dude, it's your daughter. And he's like, fuck me, dude, whoa. And he's like, yeah. And she loves me. He's like, fuck, dude. Oh, I mean, Uncle Orson, it is then. The other one. I mean, are we sure it's not the same one? Time got weird. Bum, bum, ba -da -da -da. I think, yeah, no, I think Athena is his daughter, it's not It's not his daughter with Mimsy. Uh, it's the daughter with his other wife. Well, not his wife, his previous girlfriend, his human girlfriend. Uh, Athena. Yeah, Tina. Tina is Athena's um, 
mother, and that was Kay's previous before he... Yeah, Kay is a womanizer having several different girlfriends which he dates alternately before he met the Amans and then he settles down with Mindy. He still kind of flirts with every woman he sees. Chips, I need to have. Oh well, no, there's not. There's not any on stage 27 on either route. There's only the secret for the destiny point with Jin. Have Jin and Kagura fight. They <laughs> don't hurt no one. I mean, I don't know about that. Five this fucker into oblivion. There's two more enemy ladies in part two. But they're fucking wild. I'm sorry, forgive me. Must be his Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah, it's the eight elements. Of course it is, actually, uh, yeah, it's the Gurren Satan eight elements. Of course it is. All the crazy is the dipshit. Look at him. Fucking hate that dude. I'm glad he's dead. PD, ready to go. And we got all the wiggly tricks today. Look at that. He gives them everybody focus. Gives everybody invincible. Beautiful. Classic. What's even the point of trying to murder my ass? Oh yeah, real mature. Get a beamed. It's fucking dead. Get beamed. It's good. Oh. 
And you got two of these to make them count, Alto. Don't you're out. The other boy's gonna have to go in the front and nobody wants that. Okay, he's looking at them all. Get them all the fuck up. Right, at least you got two bops with your big old attack. Uh oh. So we fight the boy ag again. He's like, no good. He regenerates. And uh, Somi says that they, she's captured a shift in the dimensional uh, borders. And Claire thinks that uh, the energy to regenerate is coming through the um, dimensional gate. And Fudo's like, yes, I concur. And Kagura's like, I don't know uh, where it comes from or how it works, but I know I like it. And then Mikage shows up and like, how you been? And like, Mikage is like, anyway, I thought you hey, I thought you might need a little, uh, like, you haven't told finding you selfie, so I thought I'd give her a little present. Uh oh, dimensional border shifting, more of doctors? No, it's the bugs. Goddamn Vajra. Now this is turning to a real part and now these guys are like, oh no, this sucks. Ah. And I'm spooked. And then Cheryl and Ranker are like, oh dang, this sucks. I'm like, let's get rid like Yeah, so Cheryl says get rid of Singer Ranker's like, no, because it couldn't reach the Vajra last time and I'm scared of failure. So it's like, dang, Cheryl and Ranker. And it's like, dang, there's the Vajra and they all fold waved it in. This sucks and stinks. And then Kagura is annoyed that Mikage um, butted in, and Mikage's like, oh, I thought we were like power 11. He's like, I'm just gonna get my selfie as soon as possible. And Shinji and Hibiki are like, oh, geez, weird dudes and Vajra, this sucks. When suddenly. That's. Listen to my song. Basara! Seems like Major Osmus same as ever. Hey Basara, why on earth are we in a battlefield? Uh, Mylene, this is normal coming from Basara. Even so, this time it's a total mess. We gotta fight an unknown enemy and the Vajra? They aren't our enemies. This isn't a battlefield. It's a live concert. So that's Captain Osmus' favorite band, Firebomber and Neki Basara. Seems the rumors are true. This guy's crazy. It's been a while, Vajra. Listen to my songs. Watch out, Basara. Shell and Rekka's songs had no effect on him. Effect or no effect has no meaning to me. Basara? I sing when I want, to who I want, and as much as I want. That's how I sing. Hey, man, he's. I guess he really is the same as usual. Okay, Basara. Then the next number. It's the end. Funny dance. Radically fire. And he's just going incredible. Incredible. His songs are even better live. What's wrong, Ray? I don't know. But my body feels hot. Hot as always, Basara. Guess for him it doesn't matter if his song works on Vajra or not. Oh, that's my Basara, all right. The other one's a skull leader. Calm down, Ozma. Yes, ma'am. Basara. Ranka, Cheryl. Uh, how about you sing as well? But neither your songs nor Basara's are a weapon for defeating Vajra. Huh? Then Alto, Cheryl, Ranka, sing your songs for those who are waiting for you. Those are waiting for us, huh? Let's sing then, Cheryl. Alright, with all our might. Cheryl, Ranka. 
I like this song. Me too. Fucking idiot. People were scared and are smiling with our song. That's the spirit, you two. We can't lose to them. Mylene, Bissara, I'll back you up. Keep on singing. Alright, let's blow them away with our sound. And then, Kagura. I don't know what's going on, but this is getting exciting. I like you. Keep on singing. Sure thing. I'll make it a blast, alright. They're getting along? It's that guy thinking. Let's focus on the abductors in Vajra for now. And then Masara. Thank goodness the citizens are calmed down. For now, minor structural damage is all we're going to have to bite our tongue on. Everybody else? We're going to attack the abductors in Vajra. Since attacking the enemy leader is useless, don't force it until we find a solution. Fight, dang it. I hate all this. Hold on, man. And now got to beat him up. Alright, my right, you get it. I'm gonna look after Makono. Hell yeah, I can't feel yourself we're gonna kill ya! And now, basara has got to kill a load of bugs. Basara <laughs> was singing wise, man. I think he's more an idiot stuff on. <laughs> than anything else. <laughs> Oh, I need to get the... Dialogues for the, the stage on the other route where it's Basara singing a bunch of garbage. By garbage, I mean, it's good. No, it's not that one. It's not that one. 26. It's 26. Can't use it, he's the wiser, and he's like a music guy. He's, he's the idiot, so on. And these jokers hit yeah, that fella. This joker beam rifles that fella. Blows up those fellas. Music Yoda? No. Uh, yeah, you guys can attack them bugs, but not too many because Basara's got to get them, right? Bugs. Shoro and turn away, guys. I didn't say anything, but they still planned this event. They were worried about me. Well, I have to persevere if I'm going to answer that in kind. For peace and for my friends. Hell yeah, Shoro. Hell yeah. Attack the Basara man. Oh, look, he's going to do his dog move. The 
only move he ever fucking does. Now that he's sniffing, now he's gonna scratch a bit. Like, nope, no point. He generates like them. We did it. Dimensional gate. He's getting energy from it. Ignore it. Like, we gotta figure a way to focus on the dudes. But yeah, K there was like, I'm oh, a real pro. Check it out. Basara, you go on singing and I'll fight in my own way. You ready, Basara? Good to go whenever. Let's go, Vajra. Listen to my song. Five on my life. You did it, Basara. Our song got through to that Vajra. Well, wait. My ex nowhere near done. Nice. Our job is to send away as many Vajras as we can. I don't care about that. I just want to listen to my song. That works, Basara. Sing the way you want to. Hamlet. It's alright, Mylene. His music's not a weapon. As long as he sings from his heart, he'll be fine. That's how he is. Then, I'll sing how I want to as well. It's much better that way. I hear you, Mylene. And as for me, I'll make sure to keep fire bomber safe. These jokers. These four game jokers. He needs to get eight of them away. And he's got two, so he can get the rest of these jokers once they fuck off away from Camille. How? How do we get the double hero? The double ultra hero! You can't get any more heroic than these two jokers! Just a bodyguard? He's just a bodyguard? I don't like that. How have we got the double hero? Do we all go again? <laughs> 